Asteras is tackling the challenges involved in cell therapy development and is making steady progress toward its practical application. Clinical trials are already underway in the field of ophthalmology, while we advance our pipeline towards clinical trials in the fields of immunology and oncology. Currently, all of Astera's research and development in cell therapy is centralized at the Astera's Institute for Regenerative Medicine in Boston, Massachusetts. Our approach to cell therapy is centered around research into therapies using pluripotent stem cells that can be used off the shelf called allogenic cells. Although there are concerns about immunorejection in allogenic cells compared to autologous or same body cells. There are numerous advantages that make them suitable for practical use. These include differentiation into many applicable tissues, little differences among donors, mass production in a relatively short period of time, and lower manufacturing cost per patient. There are five major stages until patients can receive cell therapy. We have successfully identified five issues that exist in the process and are implementing various initiatives to solve each of them. We gained a solid foothold in ophthalmology with the acquisition of the U.S. biotech company Okada, which enabled us to build a leading clinical programs and acquire state-of-the-art technologies and talents. In addition, by acquiring U.S. bio-venture company Universal Cells, we have made great strides in establishing technology to avoid immunodetection. Our proprietary Universal Donor Cell technology removes human leukocyte antigens, the cause of immunorejection from cells, by gene editing the cells to be transplanted. We have been also able to utilize this technology in ophthalmologic cell types and are now seeking to expand the use of the technology in other cell types. Asteras has made great progress establishing manufacturing technology and procedures at ARM. This is a significant advantage for us because it contributes to solving logistic problems. As a result of these achievements, the practical application of cell therapy has reached a stage where it is no longer a pipe dream. At ARM, many researchers are currently working hard to make cell therapy a realistic option. At the Astellas Institute for Regenerative Medicine, we've built a strong and diverse team of talented scientists and established many of the capabilities that are essential for cutting-edge research in cell therapies and beyond. ARM is a unique environment. It really blends the innovation of a small biotech company with the global infrastructure, resources, and backing of a multinational pharma company. The cultural, racial, and gender diversity at ARM fosters a friendly environment for scientific discussion and collaboration. This multidisciplinary environment is essential for our success. Asteras has adopted a focus area approach as our research and development strategy where we combine innovative biologies and modalities technologies to address diseases with high unmet medical needs. We have defined primary focuses as areas prioritized based on criteria, such as identification of leads and follow-on projects, and have established a system to support the primary focuses throughout the company. Currently, we have four primary focuses, blindness and regeneration, mitochondrial biology, genetic regression, and 
immuno-oncology and are working to develop our cell therapy platforms to expand into various disease areas with the goal of achieving multiple proof of concepts and investigational new drugs by 2025. We continue to seek new partners with the expertise and capabilities needed to accelerate the development of cell therapy at various stages, from basic science to clinical development. We are aiming for a future in which the number of diseases treatable by cell therapy expands. We believe many patients may benefit from cell therapy, and we are working hard to realize this potential by around 2030.